Hello and welcome. I'm Maria Ressa. This is your 6 p.m. wrap, a rundown of today's top stories. Senator Grace Poe overtakes Philippine Vice President Judge Omar Binay in the latest presidential survey. A Pulse Asia survey shows Poe has a preference rating of 30% compared to Binay's 22%. This is the first time Binay is not the top candidate in quarterly surveys for the 2016 polls. Poe thanks the public, saying, The voice of our people is important to me. Binay says, I'm now more determined to continue the fight for the people. Davao City Mayor Rodrigo Duterte remains in the third spot at 15 percent, ahead of Interior Secretary Mar Rojas and former President Joseph Estrada, both tied at 10 percent. Panfilo Lacson said he would run for president with double-digit numbers, but he gets only 2 percent. He's number one for senator at 67.4 percent. President Benigno Aquino appoints Chito Gascon as the new chairperson of the Commission on Human Rights. Gascon replaces Eda Rosales, who retired in May. A Liberal Party official, Gascon was Education Undersecretary and part of the Arroyo government's peace panel. Aquino also appoints a new Bureau of Corrections chief, former Army Chief Rainier Cruz, replaces Franklin Bukayu, who resigned after a controversy in the new Belibid prison with high-profile inmates enjoying luxury privileges. Malacanang again apologizes for disruptions to the operations of Metro Rail Transit Line 3 or the MRT 3. Presidential spokesperson Edwin Lacherda says the government is, in his words, doing what we can to improve services. On Monday, operations again stopped after a train stalled on top of the Guadalupe Bridge. Passengers walked down on the tracks. Since January, the MRT has been unreliable, with only 12 out of 20 trains functioning. At least nine die in a shooting in Charleston, South Carolina, in what police call a hate crime. A gunman walks into a church and opens fire, killing eight. Another dies in the trauma center. The shooting comes at a time of heightened racial tensions in the United States. The Philippines is set to hold naval exercises next week with the United States and Japan. The joint drills will include a helicopter crash and rescue simulation in disputed waters. The backdrop? China ignored a deadline for counter-arguments against the case filed by the Philippines before the permanent court of arbitration in The Hague, Netherlands. China has been building in contested territory despite the Philippines' serious concerns. That's your 6 p.m. wrap. Watch our updates again at 12 noon and 6 p.m. tomorrow. I'm Maria Ressa. Remember, tomorrow begins today.